In this video, we're gonna see 12 legendary boxers talk about how good Mike Tyson was. Let's start off with the greatest, Muhammad Ali. When he was asked who would have won between him and Tyson, he said this. This one here? He's bigger. Huh? I'm scared of you. You scared of this one? He's a real champ. Really? I yeah, think so. Yeah, yeah you're a real champ, right? <laughs> I'm that powerful. I'm so fast. Uh-huh. If he hit me. <laughs> and he said this in another TV interview. Listen, Ali, what do you think of Mike Tyson? Awesome. He's powerful and strong. He's got a big punch. If he hits you, you're in trouble. How would you have fared against him? Would you have whopped him? Stick, move, hit and run. Yes. Time out. But while Muhammad Ali still believed he would ultimately win, here's what Big George said when he was asked about it. What would have happened if you would have fought Mike Tyson? I call him Mike Nightmare Tyson. That guy was a nightmare in the ring. I mean, really, if he missed you with his left, then missed you with his right, he'd bite you. I didn't want to have anything to do with that you guy. You didn't want him? No, I didn't want him. Do you think he one, wanted you? No way. We were both. One was scared and the other was glad of that. I could really punch. And of course, I was an expert at punching downward. My manager would hold the bag and he was down there. So I learned to really develop power from punches, guys who were down low. He was smart enough to understand that. In a Joe Rogan podcast episode, Lennox Lewis, the former heavyweight champion, was talking about Mike Tyson and had this to say. No, Tyson's, yeah. Tyson's intelligent. Uh, uh, I won the World Junior Championships in Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. And I remember the American team was saying, oh, well, you never fought the best. So I'm like, who's that? And they told me it was Mike Tyson, custom model. As a teenager, Lennox sparred with Tyson, and he said this on another podcast. He went to the gym the next day, and he tried to beat the hell out of me. <laughs> and I put on my Muhammad Ali routine and start dancing around the ring and doing what I do. And after the fourth day, it was um, definitely even between both of us. And there was one part where Mike Tyson actually put down his hands and said, hit me, try hitting me because I wasn't standing one spot uh, and getting hit by him. So he was trying to lull me in. Another boxing legend was Evander Holyfield, and he was very aware of Tyson's incredible work ethic. Mike worked very hard. He's the only person I can ever say train harder than me. When I work in the gym with him, and I'd seen all the things that he would do, and I was just amazed. And I'm like, God, you know, shoot. 17 years old, be just a kid, man. I didn't think nobody was gonna beat him. While he beat Tyson two times, he was actually inspired by him. My goal, I wanted to be the heavyweight champion of the world, and and the only person I, I knew is Mike Tyson do it, I could do it. He hit hard, but his, he got short arms. Right. And so I seen Mike whoop, whooping people that 6'4", six, 6'5", six, Six six, mm -hmm. and they outweigh him by 20 or 30 pounds. He beat the daylights out of him. Right. I figured if Mike could do it, I could do it. <laughs> Another guy who was inspired by him is one of the most viral boxers at the moment, and he even believes he could beat Tyson. Mike Tyson goes, yeah, maybe we could do a fight. Mm -hmm. You think you f up Mike Tyson? Who is now much older, right? I, I, I would win. You would and, win. And I think. <laughs> That's funny but Tyson would crush Jake Paul. And one boxing legend who actually lost to Tyson was Larry Holmes. He was one of the greatest boxers in history, having defeated icons like Muhammad Ali and Butterbean. He said this about Tyson's boxing ability. The only, the only time I got stopped is when Mike Tyson hit. He's the only one that stopped me, so I didn't never believe in taking a whole lot of punches. Mm -hmm. and my, my style of boxing was move here and move there and don't get hit, you know, hit and don't be hit. Mike was the only one that hit me. And when Larry Holmes sat down with other boxing legends, including Ali, Norton, and Fraser, Fraser said this about Tyson. I think the young man has something that you know we all had ourselves. This idea that he's there and he's doing his job, said Fraser. He's sacrificed and you know, he's a marksman. Look at this young man when he's throwing punches. Being praised by Joe Fraser is a massive feat. Mike Tyson admired these legends and looked up to many of them. He studied them and worked very hard too. But ultimately, he lost his title when he fought Buster Douglas. 
Here's what Douglas said about that event decades later. Because at that time, he was like a wrecking ball going through heavyweight contenders left and right. How did you feel going up against Mike Tyson? I felt very confident in my abilities. Yes, I did. So I was aware of his potential, but I was, I was there. So I got to look at him in a different way, not so much of what I've seen the results of his ring bravado, but it was just him as a person looking at him and seeing him a little differently too. And around the same time Douglas said that, Tyson Fury had this to say when he was on Tyson's podcast. Named after Mike. Named after Mike, wow, yes. Shit happened. I'll tell you how it happened. Uh, my dad was a professional boxer in yeah. the uh, late 80s, early 90s, heavyweight. And his hero was you. Really? So when I was born August the 12th, 1988, I came into the world and I was eight weeks premature and I was, I was dying. I wasn't supposed to live. Really? And when wow. I lived, uh, my dad said, I'm going to call you after my favorite heavyweight, uh, Tyson. Deontay Wilder was beaten by Fury, but he still thought he was better than Tyson. He got very angry after an Instagram user commented that Tyson was a better fighter than him. Tyson Fury defended Mike after this angry Deontay Wilder clip went viral. Now, your, your dad's favorite fighter was Mike Tyson. How, how do you think you would better versus Mike Tyson? Prime versus prime. Yeah, I think Mike Tyson had knocked me out in about 30 seconds. Really? Yeah. My wife? Uh, Wilder's a dreamer. I'm gonna punish him for even staying. Another boxer who thinks he's better than Tyson is Gervonta Davis. When asked if he has better skill than Tyson, he surprisingly said this. I think I do have more skills than Mike Tyson. Guys smarter than, like, at a lower weight class always have more skill. It's no heavyweight ever in life have more skills than smaller guys, you know what I mean? Um, I do for this though, I have more skills than Mike Tyson. Hold that punch of power just as like, like Mike Tyson did when he was fighting. But better than all these foolish modern age boxers is Floyd Mayweather. And when he went on live TV, he said this shocking statement. I commend Tyson because he, he's one of the guys that paved the way for me to be where I'm at. You know, he's a legendary champion. And the only thing I have to say about Mike Tyson is everyone is always trying to judge Mike Tyson. He lived his life the way he wanted to live his life. No one can say how what they would have done if they were in his shoes. These were legends talking about Tyson. But if you want to hear them talk about Muhammad Ali, click this video on screen right now.